order to be successful with anything in SEO, I say you need three components. And those components is a strategy, a plan, and staying consistent uh, with your implementation. So having said that, the next thing we want to take a look at is our schema game plan spreadsheet. Within this spreadsheet, we're going to identify the best pages to go after as far as implementing schema markup. So these pages should be ranking um, in, in the top kind of five positions of Google and or at least have some traffic or potential going to them. We don't want to just create schema markup on all pages uh, right off the hop if you have a very large website to tackle. Uh, this game plan sheet, uh, which I'll share in the link, uh, will basically give you your best, you know, 80-20 rule. So basically the, the most ranking potential pages, you'll add schema to those pages and that will slingshot them either into a rich snippet, um, Google question and answer spot and or rank zero. So this is our schema game plan Google Sheet and essentially depending on which platform you're going to use to do the export of your data, uh, you can use Google Search Console, um, SEM Rush and or AREF's data, basically anything that will give you your traffic position, uh, keyword volume, um, ranking and uh, maybe traffic value is nice too. So you can kind of position which URLs you want to go after first. And we usually do blocks of um, 30. And uh, the main tab here, the first tab in the sheet, basically you can see uh, we have sort of 30 blocks here. And I did have data in here, but I just uh, kind of erased that out for privacy. But uh, you can place your top pages and then select which type of schema. Um, you're going to have to use some intelligence here on what you think the best schema would be for that particular page. So it's a two or three step process. Basically, you're going to export the data, filter your data to find the top pages, then tag that top page with the proper schema type. It might all be, you know, news articles or website page and maybe one or two um, organization or local business um, and just basically select those from the drop down. I did put next to these. Now these um, will probably change as you um, put your information in here, but there is a lot of value here, guys. So there is at least one how to schema article for each one of these types and essentially the official schema page on schema.org. So uh, a lot of these like video schema here, if we check out this page, all you have to do is plug in your video URL and it will automatically create your video schema for you. These things kind of make things very easy. Uh, video URL, you create the video schema and then basically you get the uh, markup to copy and paste into your site. So it's, it's literally that easy. Uh, a lot of these um, kind of generators are in here for you so that you don't have to hand code. You can always enhance the schema by clicking essentially the official schema page and checking out what um, schema.org has to say about properties and if there is required values or not. Uh, but these are basically the building blocks to get into good position in order to create all the schema that you need to create for your pages and as well as having some strategy here. So um, again, um, you really want to take a look at the top pages. What's ranking well now? If you're going after a rank zero, you're not going to put schema on a page that's ranking um, um, you know, 70th in search and just blast that to the top of uh, Google Serps because you've added some schema to it. Um, schema does work well for rankings, but essentially we got to be a little bit uh, intelligent on uh, how we're implementing our markup and why. So having said that, uh, we'll do the exports next. Uh, 
I am on the home page here and I want to get our uh, search results data and I am going to click search results and then do an export from here. Uh, this will allow me to filter out which pages I prefer uh, to start implementing schema on. Now uh, from this section here you just want to tab over to pages so queries will give you basically what keywords you're ranking for how many clicks that query got uh, but that won't give us the url so i'm um, specifically interested in the pages um, because then i can kind of take a look at that specific page and figure out uh, what type of schema uh, goes on there so you just down here uh, click on either download csv that will give you a excel export and or you can go directly to google sheets whatever you prefer uh, for the interest of saving time i have already exported this data and you can see we have uh, a lot of pages on this site so this is what i mean this is how we sort of tackle the beast uh, and ensure that we're going after the proper pages with the right schema. So uh, having said that, I would want to highlight on the uh, top square tab on the corner and then just uh, sort and filter. So I'm going to do a custom sort. And in this case, uh, I'm going to sort by positions. You can also do clicks or click through rate. Anything that basically is going to give us um, some indication that it's a top page that is already ranking well um, smallest to largest and you might want to have a cutoff point oh top 15 pages or so which is here and then start from these pages up obviously you're going to probably want to include uh, your home page um, maybe your contact page i do see a faq page in here uh, which is great because then I can do FAQ page uh, markup. So having said that, I would take this first section here and import that data um, into the sheet. So here's how to do that exact same thing in AREFs. Uh, basically just plug in your domain you will see metrics and scroll down uh, underneath organic search and you can do an export for your top pages. This will give you the same sort of data that we've seen in Google Search Console plus a few extra metrics like traffic value, position, keyword volume, top keyword for that page, uh, your traffic, traffic value. Uh, so I'll do a quick export here. And then we can do the same thing, just basically filter those rows and sort so you can start to pick out your top pages. Uh, we will be using AREFs a little bit later on to find out how to uh, steal uh, rich snippets and other um, rank zero positions from your competitors, which is very nice. Uh, there is a few um, articles that you want to check out in that Google game plan sheet. So I always delete the first row here and really quickly I'll just format this. Cool. So there we have it. We have our top pages with traffic, keywords, and uh, positions. So I don't know. Let's, we can filter this one by uh, sort of traffic. You can always change your custom sort very easily. So maybe you want to do it traffic, uh, largest to smallest, take a quick look and then basically get 30 or so pages. Um, and then maybe redo, uh, your sort, um, by position and just take a look and figure out which pages you want to tackle first. Uh, there's nothing that I know of as far as, uh, doing a custom, uh, script for this, uh, Pablo Rosales uh, would be my top pick to see if he could come up with a custom script to kind of automate this, uh, pick out pages and or um, kind of tag them accordingly. But uh, he said he had a tool that he would uh, share with the group. So if you haven't checked out SEO Ruler, I recommend uh, checking out Pablo's work. He's great. 
Um, so that's it. Uh, I will take this and we can kind of copy that and post it back into um, our Google Sheet. Okay, so we do have that pasted at the top and uh, I can go through there and take a look at these individual pages and figure out essentially which ones would be a proper uh, page to start uh, with schema markup. So this one is immediately boost uh, employee morale. You could copy that and go back to your first page. Uh, so you're going to have to kind of cherry pick through these. Um, paste the ones that you think are the most valuable and then pick the right schema type and that will give you your game plan so hopefully that all makes sense uh, I've been using this spreadsheet for a while for my clients and on uh, large sites after I get through the SEM rush um, export of data I will show you how to audit pages if you've been doing schema on a large site uh, giving you uh, pages that already have data markup on them using screaming frogs so uh, that's brilliant as well um, that allows you to basically take a look at which pages don't have schema yet and what schema types are on pages that you have already marked up Last one very quick here in your SEM Rush account. Uh, you can do a uh, domain search and get your metrics here. And underneath organic search, if you tab over to pages, uh, you can export um, your top pages with the same sort of metrics, traffic, uh, traffic percentage, how many keywords, um, backlinks. I don't know if that will make it into the export or not, but also useful data if you're looking at increasing uh, a page that does have backlinks or maybe doesn't have backlinks. Again, just basically the same process here, guys. Export your data, filter it, and throw it into the sheet. Obviously, you don't need all three of these. Uh, you can just use uh, one out of the three. Uh, Google Search Console is fine, but if you want uh, more rich data or metrics like the AREFs one, uh, you can take a look at traffic value and things of that nature, which is basically just an estimate anyways. But uh, having said that, that is how to get your data in here. Now, uh, on the last tab of this Google sheet we have some very interesting tools uh, basically everything that has been mentioned in the video so uh, pay attention because there's a lot of value in this as well as how to implement schema with your Google tag manager uh, there is an article in there all of the WordPress plugins that we mentioned both uh, marked paid or free uh, your schema validators your schema generators also free or paid and then extra documentation on um, schema.org so basically home base for Dublin Core and schema.org uh, you will also see in here how to steal rich snippets from your competitors I will do a short separate video about that um, and uh, everything else that was mentioned in the video so next up I would like to take a look at Screaming Frog on how to do a schema audit uh, there is some settings that you have to turn on that aren't turned on natively to get that data so I'll do a quick uh, screen cap of that and then we'll move on into how to steal rich snippets thanks guys open up a new instance of screaming frog and natively it doesn't export can turn that on by going to configuration then clicking on spider and then underneath the spider export tab or extractions you can see here that it does have structured data and you can basically highlight JSON LD, check for microdata, check for RDFA, and you can also uh, choose a validator. So if you like to check your code against 
uh, a Google validation tool, you can do that, or the schema.org validation, uh, you can do that as well. I am going to leave that off just uh, for the instance of speed and uh, just leave the three checks. So by turning this on, uh, basically when you do a, a new site crawl, you can see basically an export of your schema data. Uh, I am going to start this crawl and uh, basically just show you the exports after it's done. Okay, so we have finished our um, Screaming Frog crawl here of our website. And if you have the settings and configurations set correctly, you should see a structured data tab here um, and a list of all the different types of schema you have on your individual pages. This makes it really easy um, to do an entire schema audit and uh, basically figure out, essentially, I don't have any schema on my policies page. There might be um, schema for uh, website policy pages. I, I haven't looked into that, but that might be an opportunity where we could get a uh, schema on pages like terms of service, careers. Uh, essentially, I don't have any job schema on that page, so we can definitely go back and fill out the blanks. So um, I absolutely love uh, Screaming Frog for its abilities in technical SEO. Uh, I haven't met a SEO that doesn't love this tool. Uh, and in fact, um, you can export this data by hitting this here, import it back into your Google game plan uh, schema sheet, and then essentially, like I say, just fill in the gaps there. Um, when to upgrade your internet connection, we could do a blog post schema article on on that page and uh, you will also notice in the active window down here you can highlight um, basically your schema type so each one of these rows basically represents a different type of schema that's a that it has identified on that particular page and by clicking any one of these and choosing the structured data details uh, down here you can literally review and check uh, your schema so um, it's not going to give you the actual code but it will label it in a nice framework for you uh, what the logo is and what the URL is um, the image um, description all the stuff that we've programmed basically into our JSON LD it will pick up micro data in the uh, RDFA as well um, so again brilliant tool if you want to export this you can uh, create a schema audit for any uh, pages um, your structured data details are in here and as well as every single page with your different data types it will uh, keep going um, basically this one has seven data types until it runs out uh, basically but you can click any one of these and view your data um, as far as the, the JSON goes so that's everything for the schema audit. If you like, you can export this again and plug it back into the schema game plan sheet.